Previously on McLeod's Daughters. Someone called. Who? From the Rodeo to say that the boys were there. He could have stopped them. He could have said that they didn't have his permission. But he wanted to teach them a lesson. And what have we all learned? I was distraught before. I should never. It's our business. No one else's. You understand that? Yep, of course. You don't have to make excuses. Why would I lie? Because that's what guys do to save their ass. No, wait. Uh, I'm sorry, everyone, but I can't be Miss Gungellen. It wouldn't be right. I'm going to the Whit Sundays to live with my mum and my dad. I'm sorry, Jack. What did you say to him? No, it's me. It's, it's always me. But we were going to try, Dad. We, we were going to. Goodbye, Jack. Timber. Your stables and yards are bad. Yeah, well, Claire needs somewhere to put all those horses she's training. Must be costing a fortune. Peter Johnson's an idiot. I mean, he could have saved it all if he'd gone with us, Dad. Yeah, well, he wasn't exactly thinking with his head when he gave Claire the contract, was he? The guy's a knob. Yeah, you, you think Claire's just gonna let anyone move in and start building? Come on, you know what she's like. All or nothing. What are you talking about? Marriage? I think we're going to see some more changes at Drovers soon. It'll take some time to find your heart and come back home. You could walk for miles across every river and find your not alone. Cause I'll be there. Yourself. and Nick's asked to borrow a horse. Fine, whatever. Be down in a minute. Or well, ten. was his. I gave up being Miss Gungellan for him. <sighs> He's still your dad. Just leave it, Mum. Come on, lazy bone, it's time to get up. It's gotten into you. There's work to do. Oh, it's too hot to work outside. <sighs> we can do maintenance then. What have you done with the real Jodie? This is the real me. 
the new real me. Well, bring back the old Jody that talks about split ends and seeing the world. Seeing the world sucks. Since when? Since it means being a slacker like my father who doesn't care about anyone else. So come on, let's go. The air filter on the Merc needs a change. OK, OK, OK. Give me five. What happened to the real Becky, the one who used to nag me about work? She's stuffed up big time. Three unpaid speed and fines, Dodge. I never did more than 10k over the limit, and you know it. Breaking the law a little bit, still breaking the law. Did, did you come all the way from town just to give me a ticket, did you? I'd just like to be thorough at Dodge. They're all final notices, so pay up pronto if you find yourself in court. Oh, I bet you, you'd love that, wouldn't you? Hey, <laughs> Everything all right here? Oh, yeah, just great. Just some unpaid fines. Wanted to know if there was a reason for that. Listen, we haven't been introduced. I'm Harry Ryan. It's my wife, Liz. Sergeant Frank DeCosta, how do you do? Pleased to meet you, Sergeant. It's an unusual posting for a young officer. I requested the transfer. Yeah. Look, while you're here, um, I need someone to uh, conduct an investigation for me. It's a business matter. You know anyone that could help? What business matter? Well, Peter Johnson's going to be our neighbour. I want to know a bit more about him, that's all. Where's Alex? He's gone out to start contouring the top dam. He's here to tell you the new creek crossings have been organised. Maybe I should think about retiring since everything's under control. Even though you're a man down? Hello. Hey. One horse as requested. Is that Chester? Yep. I didn't know you were still with us. He said you wanted a quiet, slow one. Thanks for bringing him over, Tess. No problem. Couldn't stand to see Claire and Peter get all touchy-feely over breakfast anyway. You don't like him? No, it's not that. It's just that, you know, two's company. I, um, saw you got some sheep loose in Drifter's Gully. Fence needs fixing. Yeah, what doesn't? Fences, the drainage, yards, a house. Well, I could help you out. There's so much to do, Tess. You'd never go home again. Yeah, and in the end, you'd be sick to death of me. Maybe. You really think this is a good idea? Well, if someone owns a property like Will, we've got to ride. Yeah, well, what's wrong with a bike? Have you seen the hills? Heaps of places only a horse can go there. Yeah, we'll just take it easy, OK? I've got no time, Tess. If this place gets any more run down, I'm not going to be able to save it. Uh, look! Chipped nails, greasy hands, sweaty and loving it. We can tidy up the tool shed next. Sounds great. Oh, no, Craig. What am I going to say? I might get started on the tool shed, huh? Craig, hi. Great to see you. Joe. G'day, Beck. Uh, Joe, are you ready to finish up here? Look, Beck, about what happened. Look, Craig, I'm really sorry about standing up at the ball, but it's not like I did it for another guy. It was my dad, and as I suppose to know, it was a total dropkick. So, um, we can still go out sometime if you want. What do you say? Becky? What she got to do with it? Nothing. Go out with her. But you kissed me. What? She kissed me at the ball. What? Why? I'm sorry, it was a mistake. I didn't seem like that at the time. Wait, wait, I thought you went to the ball with Brick. And I thought I was going with you. I said I was sorry. How could you kiss him? You knew he was my date. Almost. It didn't mean anything, OK? Just forget it. Forget it? That's a bit hard. Yeah. How could you? She started it. It doesn't sound like you did anything to stop it. So are we still going out there? Yes, if men, you're all deadbeats. <laughs> I don't want you to go. Oh, me neither. Can't wait. I can think. Yep. I thought we didn't use the front door. 
Oh, Peter can't be bothered driving around the back. It takes too long. Hey, you can't stay angry all your life. Watch me. Hey, Joe, can you give me a hand later? There's a hole in Nick's fence near Drifter's Gully. I'd like to help him out. Not a problem. I'll do it now. What, I'm here to work, aren't I? Well, it's too hot now. We'll do it later. I'm not a slacker, Tess. I'll do it now. Don't ask, just in case we jinx it. Hey. Hey, can I show you this? This is the sand roll for the horses when we get up and running. And this, this is going to be the heated wash bay for the stables. Wow. How much is all this going to cost us? It's OK. Peter's taking care of it. I'm half owner, don't forget. I should know what you're committing us to. Hey, Tess, I know a bit about training quarter horses, OK? Yeah, but that's not the point. Anyway, right now, I want to speak to you about Nick. Claire McLeod. <laughs> you tag? Yeah, of course I do. He's ringing from the gate. <laughs> yeah? I miss you too. I'll just get back as soon as you can. Do you think we could have steak tonight? Peter loves pepper steak. Right. Anyway, if I, I should get onto the roofing contractors. Have you seen the tape measure? What about Nick, but don't worry. if he knew I was talking to you, but he's in real trouble. Wilgul's falling to pieces. He's pushing himself so hard, I'm scared he's going to get hurt. It's his fault, not mine, Tess. He bought the land for himself. Yeah, because Harry went back on his word. I would have looked after him. Whatever Dad put in his will, and Nick knows that, Tess. So do it now. Go and help. You can always ask. You know he won't. Well, there's nothing I can do from then, right? Tess, why do you care so much anyway? Because you only have one brother. You don't want to spend your lives apart. I'm not the one who left, am I? I mean, he bought land and moved out all behind my back. Must have been planning his revenge for years. What? For the rodeo. Is that what you think this is about? Why else would Nick want to stick it to me so badly? Then blame Harry. <laughs> Look, yeah, not everything is his fault, right? He knew you were there. <laughs> Rubbish. It's true. Someone called to tell him. He could have stopped you. He could have stopped Nick getting hurt. How do you know? Your mum. Who told you? Yeah, stop it, don't you dare! Make you feel better, Alex? You know what's going to happen now, don't you? Alex, please. Alex. He thought that he was doing the right thing. 
I was 16 please years old, Mum. Please talk Alex. It was such a long time ago, please. So why didn't you say anything? I didn't have a choice. Yes, you did, Mum. You had a choice and you chose him. What I'd be looking at for colour bond. Oh. What about just plain corrugated iron? And have you got that much in stock now? Okay, no, no, I'll give you a call back. Thanks. Sprung. <laughs> I don't even know why I hoarded them. Oh, you'd look great in that. Yeah? <laughs> I look like a meringue in my wedding dress. <laughs> Not that I thought so at the time. I thought it would suit you too. Wow. <laughs> you and Pete have so much in common. Kevin and I couldn't even agree on a band for the reception. <laughs> I knew he wasn't perfect, but it didn't matter. If you love someone, you learn to live with their faults. I don't think Peter's got any. Or not, in my case. <laughs> Jodie's got to learn that. You lost something? Oh, pen knife. Kevin's. Jody's trying to pretend he never existed. Only you really could. Yeah. What's that song? You don't know what you've got till it's gone? You can say that again. You want Kevin back? Oh, no. God, no, I meant Terry. Well, why don't you just ring him? He won't take my calls. Write him a letter, then. What can I possibly say that'll make things up to him? Yeah. Maybe you could give him a present. He'd just send it back. So what are you going to do? Wait. Till he stops hating me and hope I'm still alive by then. <laughs> Great. It really is hopeless. Are we still talking about me and Terry? I better get back to work. Any beer in this crummy joint? That depends on if it's a one beer or a two beer conversation. So are you. Been working, what does it look like? What's up with you? Dad. He's a bastard, Nick. Took you a while. Come on, get a beer. years he's uh, he made out it was my fault makes you wonder how many other lives there are doesn't it it's 
Shot now, huh? Can't shoot him. Oh, well, I know what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm going to get this place up and running so I never have to go back to Kalani. You should have told me that's why you bought the place, Nick. Would you believe me about that, then? Well, this is hardly rubbing his nose in it, is it? I mean, look at this place. It's a dump. Mm. What have you been doing? Well, I can't get good help these days. Hell, yeah, well, obviously you aren't asking the right people, are you? OK, then. All right. Yards and the shed need to be fixed. Fences got to be mended. Yeah. Paddock's got to be cleared. Yeah. You finish that, you can finish breaking the Brumbies in for us. Oh, you're right, huh? And uh, what are you going to be doing? Supervising. Oh, get away. I'm the boss, remember? Stop. Hey, Joe. Hey. I was fixing the fence in Drifter's Gully and I found this one. Uh -huh. Can't get up. Thanks for that. Thirsty? Like a desert. Hello, sweetheart. Hey. I was just going to put these up in your room. Sure, thanks. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm just trying to work out if I've done something very good or very stupid. All right. Well, thanks for the line. Well, hang on to it. You'll want to wear the dress again. I don't think so. Sure you were when Brick asked you out. I bet he was blown away by what you were wearing. I can't keep it. Well, you'll have to have something nice to wear for all those special dates you'll be going Tess, on. Tess, you don't get it, do you? I'm not going anywhere, all right? Becky, I... I know why you're here. I'm, I'm sorry. I know exactly why you did what you did, Tess. Nick's struggling. Alex has just packed up his bags and he's left. So my sons hate me and my family's fallen apart. I trusted you. You can't just meddle with other people's lives, Tess. Who's next, huh? Claire and Peter, maybe. You know, I wonder if they'll get married by the time you finish with them. You just don't belong here, Tess. I think you know that, don't you? Claire? Claire? Hey. G'day. Guess what? What? Two more horses signed up for training. <gasps> It's great. Uh huh. And something else. I have a surprise for you. What? Hop in. Hey, Tess. Come and see. What do you think? About time. Oh. <laughs> it's really happening, isn't it? Mm hmm. Going, you guys surviving? Yeah? Great. Great. Functions too. Well, don't overextend yourself. It's the quickest way to go bust, remember? Yep. Uh, nothing special. Claire's horse training business has taken off and she's got a boyfriend, so we hardly see each other anymore. Yep. <laughs> Me. Yeah, right. Like, who am I going to meet out here? Well, I. Oh no, can't keep those customers waiting. Yep. Well, send my love to Simon. <laughs> Yeah, OK. Bye. 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 Bye.
were coming back. Like you, Nick. Work hard, save up, buy some land. Last week you couldn't wait to leave. Well, last week I wanted to be like my dad, too. So this is to prove that you're not. Didn't you buy this place to prove something to Harry? Yeah, and when I fix it up and I'm making lots of money, you know what it's going to prove, don't you? That you don't need him? That I'm like him. That I've got his business sense, I've got his eye for a good deal. But you're nothing like Harry. <laughs> Taking after him in some ways doesn't mean I have to take after him in other ways as well. Here we go. Hey, look, 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 she's okay. Thanks to you, girl. Is this what you're looking for? Just don't gloat, OK? You know, the hardest thing about being a parent is that knowing that one day your child's going to find out that you're not perfect. Yeah, but there's not perfect and then there's thoughtless, hopeless and totally selfish. And funny and good-looking and entertaining. And exciting and crazy and special. You don't have to hate someone just because you don't like some of the things that they do. And I'm funny and exciting and adventurous, aren't I? <laughs> Without being selfish, right? Well... I might go for a run into town. The troughs still need to be checked. I've been working all morning, Mum. I even rescued a cast sheep and I'm out of conditioner. Oh, I can see your dilemma. Oh. Alex will be back. What about Nick? Kalani. Mm -hmm. Very good, good. What do you got for me? What about old bank records or even a, a parking fine or something? You can't be squeaky clean. What? Are you sure? Yeah, thanks. Well, what is it? Peter Johnson. He's married. Oh, you're joking. Oh, clear. She has to be told, Harry. Hey, Jody, what's up? If you're still talking to me. You got any water? Yep. And I'm still talking to you. You came without any water? Someone forgot to fill the bottle, OK? No one's perfect. Careful, it's hot. I'm sorry, Craig. It happens. No, I mean for what I said to you and Becky. I don't know why you were kissing, but... Me neither. Though she's all over me now, I don't exist. Well, I'm happy to forget about it. That's if you still want to go out with me. You sure? Of course I'm sure. Why wouldn't I be? It's just that you stood me up. When Becky comes on to me, then she goes off me. Now you're back on to me. 
Thanks for the water. You can give me a call. Hey. I just came to see if there was anything else I could lend a hand with. Is Claire giving you the day off, has she? No, Claire's so busy with Peter, she wouldn't even notice if I spontaneously combusted. <laughs> it's not like I can help with the horse training anyway. Hey, Nick. Got a nail gun, mate? Hey, Alex. Hey, Tess. We call it a hammer in these parts. Oh, what you want to put the whole shed back together with just a hammer? Well, you want a nail gun, you can go and buy one. <laughs> Good. Righto. What, with the wages you aren't paying me, mate? So you're working here now, are you? Yeah, well, Nick was doing such a lousy job, I thought I'd help him out with a couple of things. So you, uh, come to get Chester, huh? No, no, you can stay a bit longer. All right, you, uh, starting a breeding program with him? Yeah, something like that. He's got hidden talents, you know. Yeah, very. All right, well, uh, since we've just got a hammer, um, maybe you want to give me a hand with the struts? You know, it's great to see you two talking again. A little help from you. She's in good condition. Yeah. How long till she falls now? Just three weeks. Do you think the stables will be up by then? Yeah, no problem. Including one deluxe stable, just in case there are any problems for our mum to be. Yeah. Bloody Harry, what's he want? You're being a bit paranoid about this bloke, aren't you? Harry never does anything without a reason. He'll be here to check something out. Trust me. Hey, Harry. Oh, you're clear. Peter. Harry. What can I do for you? Oh, I just thought I'd come and take a look. Can I have a word with you? In private. There are no secrets between Peter and I. You know, it's a pretty big commitment. You want to get it right first time. Absolutely. It's a bit like getting married, you know. Get that right first time, you don't have to do it again. Uh, look, Harry, Claire and I have got a hell of a lot of paperwork that we have to finish yeah, by tonight. Yeah, so, uh, so, you know, thanks for dropping by. We'll show you around some other time. Claire. You know Liz and I want the best for you, don't you? This is it, Harry. Hello, Becky. It's Ryan. You like working with Claire, don't you? Yeah, I do. You want to see her happy? Of course. She's going to be pretty upset when she hears about Peter. When she hears what about Peter? He's married. She's got a wife and two kids in Queensland. Who'd you hear that from? Believe me, it's true. Why are you telling me? If you want me to tell her, I'm not going to do it. Why are you scared of losing your job? No, I'm scared about what it's going to do to her. It's got to come from someone close to her. I know you'll do the right thing, Becky. Hey, Nick, we'll have to get onto those fences tomorrow, mate. Yeah, we're at the yard. Mate, there's no point fixing if all your stocks run off. You've got nothing to put in it, have you? <laughs> Jeez, Nick. Talk about losing your sense of priorities, mate. It's like it turned out when I did. Oh, I'm so lucky. Yeah, you are so, so what lucky. So are you cooking for dinner? I don't know, whatever you feel like cooking. Ah, uh, it's your turn. Since when? I only just got here. <laughs> since then? Huh? Mate, since... Just because you gave me a bed doesn't mean I'm your slave, right? Oh, so you reckon you're going to sit back and get weighted on hand and foot like you did at Carney, do you? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Okay, look, we need some ground rules, right? I mean, like... Okay, if I, if I, uh, let's say I, I cook you wash, right? No, nah, I'm not cleaning your dirty undies. Do our own washing. And we share the cooking starting with you. Well, have you got any leftovers? No. Look, no, I don't want some. 
Right, but I get first shower, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. And then we've got to work out some sort of sign, OK? What for? You know, if we've got visitors over, stay in the night or something like that. Right. You know, so what, what, what are you going to do? What sort of sign? Well, I mean, it's not exactly private here, is it, you know? I mean, it's a bit of a shack. So who are you expecting? We never know, you know. What about you? Never know. What about you? Well, you never know. Oh, it's time you started cooking, Pat. What do you reckon? I'll clean this up. You go on. Yeah, yeah. righto, righto, righto. What did I tell you about Harry, hey? He still can't get over losing the contract. Hey, Beck. You haven't seen the plans yet, have you? Come over and tell me what you think. I'm thinking about putting the new yard over there. What do you reckon? Oh, look, I don't know anything about that sort of stuff. Um, I, I've still got the gutters to clean and um, the tennis court to mow, and so I'd, I'd better get on with it. Can you tell Meg that I won't be in for dinner? Yeah, yeah, all right. Well, the timber's here, and the roofing arrives tomorrow, so we can start the building any time. Mm. All hands on deck, then. Oh, we're going to hire some extra labour and get it done quicker. Well, I don't think we can afford that. Australian bloodlines are covering it. They're paying for all of this. Well, I still haven't seen the contract, so I wouldn't know. There's nothing to worry about. No, you've got $250,000 to play with, and it's all covered by AB. How much? Well, this is a major training and breeding program we're setting up here. You're spending a small fortune without even consulting me. I thought we were partners. It's my signature on the checks, too. I'm liable if something goes wrong. What could go wrong? I don't know. That's why I'd like to see the contract. Tess, we understand that you have concerns. Well, of course I do. This is a hell of a lot of money we're dealing with. And you're welcome to look at the contract any time. Thank you, Peter. But there's really nothing to worry about. Oh. Those veterinary services, mm. too. I wanted to talk to you about that. Greg is a terrific vet, but these are valuable animals, and I'd like to have a vet on call all the time. I'll leave you to it, then. It's obviously what you want. No worry, she'll be all right. There is nothing to worry about, is there? Of course not. Busy, I'll leave you to it then. No, no, don't be silly. Do you want a coffee? Yep. I just wanted to, uh, you know, give Claire some space. Like she doesn't have enough space in that mansion. She means privacy, Jody. You know that thing you complain I never give you enough of? Ha uh ha. -huh. for a drink? You drove all the way out here just to ask me that. Why don't you just use the phone? Well, it's too easy to say no on the phone. Oh, what if I say no now? Well, I'll have to drive all the way back now, won't I? Oh, I couldn't make you do that. <laughs> have a good time. Just watch the drinking and driving, Craig. I will, Mrs. Young. Bye. Bye. Thanks. I'm starting to get claustrophobic. Silly, really, out here in the wide open spaces. Hmm. Claire could do a lot worse. Peter's a nice bloke. They really are going to get married, aren't they? I'd say so. Isn't it great? Yep. You're joking. 
Oh, yeah. Startled me, that's all. When I woke up in bed alone... Yeah, I couldn't sleep. You OK? It's beautiful, this country. I could hide away here with you forever. That's all I want. Nothing's fair. 